So what happens when your bones are soft? What does that mean? You're not drinking enough milk. I tried it. I swear to God, I tried it. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. My name is Maddox. And I'm Charity. Celine. Hi, Celine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. I love y'all red hair. Thank you. So what are we here to talk about today? We are here to talk about me as a person with a disability. You That's know, I feel kind of bad for you when you just say that. Why? It's hard to say. Is it because I'm short? I don't want to say that. When you ever see people write me, what do you think we like to be called? That's a hard question for me to think about. Would you call me uh, a dwarf? Would you call me a midget? Or would you call me a little person? What would you say? Um, I don't know. It's a safe space for you guys, don't worry. Very safe. Not gonna get mad. Mm, yeah. Dwarf, and what you say? Little people? The best thing to call us is little people. Because everybody has a different type of disability, and their disabilities are in different categories. So it's good to say a little person. And how tall are you? Hmm. How tall are you? I don't know, five feet. Let's stand side by side. Are you taller or am I taller? I don't want to be rude. <laughs> oh, are you taller than me? I think you are. I am three feet tall. Wow. How were you able to be so small? My disability is called osteogenesis imperfecta. It means my, my bones were very soft. My bones were so soft that when I sneezed, I could break something. When I coughed, I could break something. Making my muscles. I didn't have muscles <laughs> back in those days. I had like over 100 fractures and um, 23 surgeries. I use my wheelchair more. And then is it like the robotic type and when it has like a joystick? Yes, it? it's motorized, yes. I love those types. I know, right? And because I'm a little person, everything is kind of smashed down. It's just like you take some ice cream and you just mash it down to a certain size. And that's how our body is. You should eat onions to uh, make you grow. Lord, I never heard onions. <laughs> When I was younger, I did not like being a little person. I really cried a lot about it. But you get used to it. Yes, I got used to it. I said, hey, what am I gonna do, cry all the time? I might as well love myself, and that's what I did. Well, when you're short, you look so cute. Thank you, I didn't know I worked so hard. Do you dance? Girl, I used to. When I was younger, I used to hit the club, and I'd be dancing. Do you have a small car? How small is the car? Small enough so it would just like fit you like if you're a tall person. Then how's my son and my husband gonna fit in it? Oh. <laughs> I take the access bus and so I call them and they come to my door. That's how I go to work. What do you do? I am a case manager, meaning that I help people with disabilities. Are there any things you can't do, like reach the doorknob? There's not nothing I really can't do. We, as people with disabilities, always find a way of doing, uh, accommodating. Do you do course. any sports? Me, what? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, nails, hair, makeup, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about, do you have any kids or pets? I have one little boy. He is five years old, no pets. And when you go to work and do you have like a babysitter to like take care of your kid? I used to, but now my, I have a husband, I'm married. Oh. Uh, isn't it cute? <laughs> and so I'm married. And then when he wants to kiss you and he has to go all the way to his knees. I know, he hates to bend down. So he go, he sit down and go, come here, come here. <laughs> and so when I come here, he go, Mwah. Tell me about your son, is he cute? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, he is cute. He is tall like you. He has curly hair. And when you go shopping for clothes, then, and what happens if they like don't have the like size for you? Well, let me ask you this. Do you think I wear children clothes, or do you think I wear tall people clothes? Children clothes? Good answer, but no. 
I wear a size four and five in the women. I look for the shorter skirts because the shorter skirts is gonna be long for me, which would be a perfect size. That's a good idea. I can only wear children's shoes. My feet won't grow. I just Maybe went. you should pray to Jesus. You know, I did, you know, Jesus said to me, be happy for who you are. Do people stare at you? <laughs> yes, they do. I do not like it. If they're staring at me because they think I'm cute, that's fine. But if they're staring at me because they want to make fun of me, that is not fine. We don't like it when people bend down and say, hey, how you doing? It makes us feel like that you're talking to us like kids. You still look beautiful when you're small. Thank you. I'll Thank give you. you a hug. <gasps> Bring it in. <laughs> if you see somebody different or somebody with a disability, would you bully them? No. What about you? No, because they're still people. Yes, they are still people high-fiving, huh? Thank you. I think that when you see a little person or you see anybody different, treat them as normal as if you don't even see their disability. Do you like being small? I love it now. I love being short because it's hard for people to forget me. Really? <laughs> yes, really. If I'm small, I'm different, and people remember people that are different. Thank you for sharing my story. I thank you for listening. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you hugs. Instead of a handshake. I have one more question for you. Uh oh. What is it, Gigi? Can you do a cartwheel? See? Gigi. <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, it's Marina from Hi Ho. Thank you for watching another one of our videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Then while you're at it, click the link in our bio to pick up some of our merch. Bye.